up off of that thing. A soulful brown ale from Devil May Care Brewing Company right here in Winnipeg. Uh, contract brewed at Stone Angel Brewing. 5.3% ale key hole per volume. 27 IBU, so not too hoppy. That's so good. Hey. Gee, maybe a little bit of James Brown influence in there. Oh, it's a brown ale. That's hoppier than I thought. But it's not too bad. Hey! All right, first up we have wire connector. Feels pretty heavy, actually. That's interesting. Can't read that. Electrical automatic peeling line device. 4.0 meters squared. Hi. That says router bits on the side of that case. I honestly don't remember. Auto universal connector electric drill bit cable wire quick stripper twister. Got this from NESPK. Uh, current going price is three ninety nine American or five thirty two Canadian. I paid five oh five for it, and I didn't pay any shipping because I try really hard not to. It appears to be a thing to twist multiple wires together. Curious. Arrange the wires orderly and put them into the separate holes, as many as five at a time, like that. Hold the pliers on one side, turn the drill on, and it does that. I'm intrigued. I must have been intrigued at the time, too. Does it say what sizes of wires to use? Not really. So it shows that is 20 millimeters across. Where's the thing with the wires in it? Huh. Okay, let's try this experiment. My battery-powered drill hasn't been recharged lately, so I'm just going to use the old-school plug-in one. So, I've got four strands of, um, out of 14-2 house wire. It's just, uh, it's this stuff. It's like the standard, typical North American house wiring for a 15-amp circuit. 14-gauge, two wires plus ground. But... I've just stripped it out the bare ground wire I'm not going to use because this thing's supposed to be able to strip wires too. Now in the picture it always showed one of them being shoved up the middle. How far does that go? Up to there. Okay. So I'll just do that. One up the middle and then it said pretty much any number just kind of surround them. And it also showed holding it with pliers which probably is not a bad idea. Slide that one up a little bit further. Maybe that other white one up a little bit further. I haven't tried this, so let's see what happens. Hmm. Well, one of the four of them got stripped, and the rest of them just got twisted together. So here's my two bare ground wires here that I got left over. And obviously one of them's already, or they're already stripped, so that's not going to do anything. Well, what happens if I just do this? Well, that's a fairly nice tight coil. Let's finish it up with another set of pliers. Hmm. It's not too bad. So the other thing I've got here is a bunch of 18 gauge solid wire. The the pictures showed it always being used with solid wire, so I'm not going to it'd be unfair to try it with the wire that they're not claiming it works with. So we got six strands here, eight strands. Um, so this is out of uh, 18.2, which is in North America commonly used for like doorbell wiring, and thermostat wiring. Thermostat wiring would be norm be uh, three or four conductor. Uh, this was two conductor. Um, typically used for low voltage stuff in house wiring and industrial wiring and stuff like that. 
ポイシベッツ。Mm-hmm. Kind of stripped a little bit of a couple of them, but yeah, that's sort of useless. This seems to be its best application right here. Oh well. I guess it looked interesting at the time. That's what you get for surfing eBay after dark. Let's see if I made a wiser choice here. Trimmer capacitor times one. Well, I hope that it's more than a single capacitor. Oh, it's a whole bag of assorted variable capacitors. Okay, are we labeled here? Five picofarads. Let's flip them all over.、Uh, 120 picofarads, 40, 30, 20, 10, 70, 60, and 50. I think those are mostly、uh, ordered just to add to my accumulation of、uh, repair parts. Variable capacitors tend to be mostly used in RF circuitry.、Um, most of the time, it's easier to vary the resistance rather than the capacitance in a circuit. But sometimes, if you've got a capacitor inductor circuit for an oscillator, varying the capacitor makes sense. 49 pieces, 9 values. Trimmer capacitor kit. Assorted adjustable variable capacitors. The seller that I bought them from, Access City 2009, no longer sells them or anything.、Um, but here is one that it suggests for pretty much the same price. I paid five bucks Canadian for these.、Um, this seller selling them for $6.48. There's other sellers selling them for different prices, of course. 100% brand new, high quality, blah, 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 blah. A、uh, package of 45, five pieces for each value from five picofarads up to 120 picofarads. And they're color coded, which is completely irrelevant to me. Next in, we have LED light quantity one. Oh, okay.、Uh, so this looks like an LED controller. Uh, we got three little buttons that you can just barely see. Focus. We just barely see through the heat shrink, which do M minus S and M plus.、Um, three pins going out this end and a barrel jack coming in that end.、It、says on here 5 to 24 volts in, 5 to 24 volts out. Ah, ground, data out, and clock. Hmm. DC 5 volt to 12 volt mini controller WS2811B, WS2012B, 76 effect control WS281 pixel built in. From Baosheng, Hong Kong, Bongsheng Kink, $2.52 Canadian cents. Free shipping, of course. 76 dynamic modes, six level speeds, control 2048 pixels, easy change, three buttons. Looks a lot like it. Okay. I don't have a full strip of、uh, pixels, but I do have some smaller bits that we can play with here. Okay, a little bit of time has passed. I'm just rigged up some little adapter wires here because I couldn't quite get the.、Uh, The standard DuPont pins to fit onto this connector, so I found a GST that would work, and yada yada, whatever. So,、um, the other thing is, it says it works from 5 to 24 volts. Obviously, I'm going to try it at 5 volts first because I don't want to pop it. So, 5 volts from my friendly neighborhood power supply.、Um, oops, 5 volts current limited to half an amp. I'll get that plugged into there, and well, since I've already got this turned on, let's just turn it on. It's drawing four milliamps right now, it's got nothing connected to it. Let's just see if there is any voltage present here because this thing says clock or ground data out and clock, I think, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So, ground is that one.
Okay, so there's five volts. So CL is power. Remember that. So theoretically, when I turn this on, oh, hey, isn't that cool? So now what happens if I push these buttons? I have an M plus. Okay. Changes the mode. Blue, whatever, whatever, color, color. Okay, so now if I hit the M minus, I'm guessing it scrolls backwards through that list. Sure it does. Then what is the S? Speed by the looks of it. Well, that's cool. So now then, theoretically, I should be able to just stack on some more. Because that's the cool thing about these WS2812 LEDs is that there's just an input, a data input on one end and a data output on the other end and things happen. Can you see that better if it's reflecting off a surface? Yeah, I guess you can. Three, six, eight, thirty-two 32 LEDs. It's drawing upwards of 220 milliamps when it's all super bright. 252 thereabouts. Okay. Right, next thing. Hmm, this one came from within Canada, so it doesn't have any clues on the outside of the bag. I just tried that. Well, at least it was packaged fairly well. A little tiny screwdriver. A couple of knobs. Ah, and a couple of analog joysticks with clicky switch. So there's a potentiometer there for this direction. There's a potentiometer there for this direction. And there's a little tactile switch that gets clicked when you push down. And it says on that side that it's an ELPS product. Can you see that? Alps are known for making fairly solid potentiometers from way back. It's an old brand. Cool. Let's see what I paid for those. So what I ordered was called Ivy Queen 2 Sets 3D Joystick Controller Analog 3-Pin Sensor Module Potentiometer. I bought them from Friend Shops 852 and I paid 80 Canadian cents at auction for them. So since that auction has expired long, long ago, and there is exactly what I bought, but from a different seller. So we have two joysticks, two little knob cap things, and a screwdriver. This seems to be specifically for the PS4 as a replacement part, but that doesn't matter. They're a pair of 10K joysticks with, uh, with knobs. You can use them for anything. At least I can. And the last thing. Diode quantity one and diode quantity one. Where's the soft spot? Oh. Okay. That looks like a bunch of inductors. And that looks like a bunch of chips of some kind. I'm just going to look at both listings at once. What are these? Oh, they look like a power kind of a component. Let me get in closer here for you. So yeah, these are a little surface mount, kind of a power controlling chip by the looks of it, given that little tab there um, as the one pin, six pins, PT4115. Okay, let's uh, go look that guy's data sheet up when we look up the listing. 20 pieces, 100 microhenry, 8 by 10 millimeter magnetic core inductor from Shengming Electronics. 20 of them for $2.07 Canadian, free shipping. And also in the same package from Shengming Electronics, 20 pieces PT4115B89E or PT4115, 4115 IC LED drive power SOT89. Aha, LED driver. 
no information about it down here, but I have a data sheet. 30 volt, 1.2 amp. Wow. Step down high brightness LED driver with 5000 to one dimming ratio. This device operates from an internal supply between 6 and 30 volts and provides an externally adjustable output current of up to 1.2 amps. Depending on the supply voltage and external components, it can supply more than 30 watts of output power. And here we have, conveniently, a typical application circuit. Uh, we have the chip. We have a Zener diode. Hmm, have to look at that. We have a 3 watt LED. We have an inductor. In this case, it's saying 68 microhenries. That's why I bought the 100 microhenry inductors, I'm guessing. It's probably not entirely critical. Uh, we have a sense resistor, really low impedance. Hmm. And then we have just a really basic DC power supply out here. AC comes in, gets bridge rectified through the full bridge rectifier. I just can't say it as cool as Electroboom does. Uh, and then smoothed out. But none of this stuff over here matters. You just feed it nice DC. And these are the external components you need to make it get up and dance. So pin 1 is the switched output. Tin pin 2 is ground. Pin 3 is the dimming input. Pin 4 is the current sense, pin 5 is the voltage in, and the exposed pad is also grounded over there. Output current adjustment by PWM control. That's what I'm thinking about here. Using an Arduino with one of these, with PWM dimming, to control really bright LEDs. Can you see it now? Well, probably not, because you'll be blinded by it. Ha <laughs> ha! And here are today's mailbag items. As usual, a very wide assortment. Although my preferences are starting to show up. You're starting to see more and more things for LED projects. Uh, let's go over quickly the, uh, the transit times. The 45 variable capacitors took three months to get here. The two joysticks uh, took only 16 days uh 16 days uh, that was quick because they came from in canada that's not quick for inside canada because it was done during the postal strike um this thing wire twist tool thing took six weeks to get here kind of disappointing not sure why i ordered it but i'm thinking that late night and beer was involved uh the led controller this one over here it took uh, seven weeks to get here and the inductors and LED driver chips took three months so that's two packages that took three months to get here this was late 2018 when I ordered these so you know I don't know anyway um so this should be fun um now that these are here I'm thinking that I'm really going to want to play with those soon so that'll probably be coming up in a couple of weeks, I hope. No promises, as always. Life gets in the way. You know how it goes. Um, but yeah, that was that was fun, as usual. Um, and one somewhat disappointing thing. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Thanks, as always, to my Patreon supporters for helping me not go broke buying this stuff to show to you guys. Thanks to... Uh, where's my beer? Thanks to Devil May Care Brewing for just being awesome and making cool beer locally. And, did I thank you? Yeah, that's everybody. Bye. Talk to you later.